actually, am I weird? Like other people are weird, or am I weird in a really weird way? To be honest, this was just kind of a, a really heavy week. It was really heavy and really weird. <laughs> there were very few of the nine things I committed to do every day that I actually followed through on. I feel like there is so much that I want to say and I say it in my head and it makes so much sense and it sounds so profound and perfect and beautiful and then I try to get it from my brain to my mouth and everything gets lost and all of a sudden nothing makes sense anymore. I don't know if that's something everyone struggles with. Maybe some people are a lot better at that. My cousin is so good at like visualizing something in her head and then making that art, like bringing that into reality. I've always been so jealous of that. It's always like I need to look at something, I need to see it, and then I can copy it. And it's not that I don't have original ideas. I feel like I'm all I think about are these like new crazy things, but actually getting them out into the world, making them real is something I really struggle with. I kind of made a joke the other day where I said to Sam, another day, another existential crisis. And then I thought, that was funny, and so I made a little comic about it. The protagonist in the comic was based on a little mushroom stuffy that we bought for our son when we were on vacation, and he's just like this little mushroom guy. So it was like, I kind of imagined him sitting there, looking out at the stars, just thinking and contemplating, and then like one of his buddies kind of walking up to him and being like, hey, he's like, hey, what's up? Oh, you know, another day, another existential crisis. <sighs> Look, man, what do you want? I'm not really feeling like shooting the shit over a basket of tots. Well, your mom called. Yeah, she's worried about you. Why is that? She said you just seem off. Well, she wanted me to check in and see if you're okay. And you seem just about as okay as everyone else. Which is... Not okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a big theme for a lot of people right now. It's like, not quite okay, but maybe we don't really know why. And that's okay. Honestly, that's a big reason why I'm even doing this, is practicing reflecting things that are maybe hard and challenging. I've been thinking a lot about growing pains recently. Our son is three. I realized that he was having really bad growing pains. Like I started feeling it like in my body, in my legs and in my knees, just like when I was a kid. And I remember that feeling, ugh, and how intense it was. I've been thinking about that in other areas of life. We have been in a really intense season of transition and transformation in the last year. <laughs> feels like It feels like it's just getting more and more and more intense. We have been kind of remodeling our relationship is what we like to describe. We've been married 10 years and we're like, okay, decade one under our belt, time to really look under the floorboards and make sure the foundation is solid. If we need to fix anything, now's the time. Going with the analogy, we ended up kind of stripping it down to its studs. <laughs> We're remodeling the whole thing. We're like, let's just do it. It's a cute analogy. It's not a cute process, <laughs> but extremely necessary. And I'm thankful to have a partner who is willing to look at those things. And I think foundationally, if we have nothing else, we both have a commitment to grow. <laughs> and we always have since we first met. So now we're just taking a really honest look of like, what is it that we actually want to promise each other? What is it that we actually want to be accountable for and be accountable to? Because wherever it is that we get to that's worth getting to has to start from there, has to start from being honest. And we've been doing a lot of going back and kind of like rewriting our history together, really listening to each other's perspectives, doing a lot of inner healing and work to figure out what is the truth, one that we feel 
we can come to collectively together that's honest and real. And that is a lot of what this week has been. It has been a lot of processing. (laughs) It was like one little thing, one little misunderstanding makes you feel like, oh, this again? Like I thought we had gotten past this. And a friend said to me recently that your thing is your thing is your thing. And if you've been in a long-term relationship, it, it really starts to feel like that. Like when you get to the root of any hard conversation or misunderstanding you're like oh my god this is the same thing this is the same conversation that we've had a million times dressed up in all these different ways and you keep kind of coming back to this thing you keep tripping over again and again and again and with all the work we've done and the healing and everything else I found myself getting really frustrated I thought we had gotten past this but no not yet every time you figure out this is where you are usually it's because there's a new perspective or a new layer of understanding available and that was what it was for me in particular and even my story about our misunderstandings and my story about what our thing was and really coming to terms with that What's been really interesting for me about this process is that from the outside, you would have no idea that all of this intense transformation is happening in our life. You know, like we just moved into this new house. We like have all this stuff that's just kind of like going well. Just recognizing that is really eye-opening for me. I mean, they always say like, you never know what anyone's really dealing with, even when it seems like, oh, you don't really have a reason to be going through a hard time. There's always reasons to be going through a hard time. That's another reason why I also refer to this as like a chrysalis season. You know, from the outside, it's like nothing's really happening. And then inside, it's like, what? What's going on? I kind of thought we were to the point where we're like starting to like flex our little wings and elbow our way out of the chrysalis. And I think we're still just amorphous goop at this point and that's okay don't rush the process encouragements that i found this week is like everyone is going through something under the surface that you'll never understand and you never really know looking from the outside what things are like for somebody else i hope that no matter what you're working through and whatever you're pursuing and whatever you're transforming that you know you're not alone (laughs) that even though your experience is unique the fact that you're having an experience isn't i hope that you all have a wonderful weekend and i'll see you next time